uh, screenwriting partner and I had written a screenplay called The Sword and Mr. Stone, which was about an insurance adjuster who gets pulled into a modern day search for Excalibur. And it was a good screenplay. We'd written it maybe 20 years ago. We'd won an award with it. We'd been flown out to Hollywood to talk about it. And as happens with most scripts, that never went anywhere. But it was a good story. It's a solid screenplay. And I looked at it and thought that would make a fine novel. How tough would it be to just take those 30,000 words in a screenplay and make it a 70,000 word novel? It was easier than writing a brand new mystery. That's true. But there was still that translation from the slim description that was in the screenplay that was just enough for the production designer to know what to do, as opposed to painting a full picture for a reader. The scenes that were movie scenes are shorter than novel scenes. Uh, there's less dialogue in movies than there is in books. There was that whole process of taking that screenplay and suddenly making it into a, a novel that someone would read. And it, it took a while to do, but having that as a starting point was a huge help because I knew exactly, I not only knew what the end was, but I knew what the last line was because it was already there. There's a book that I recommend people read, whether you're into film or novel writing, by William Goldman called Adventures in the Screen Trade. And it's about 30 some years old now. It's a bit out of touch in some ways. William Goldman wrote Princess Bride. He wrote uh, All the President's Men, the movie. He wrote Butch Cassidy, the Sundance Kid. And the book is recounting how he got into Hollywood. But along the way, he talks about writing his first novel, which was called No Way to Treat a Lady, in which he did something similar to what you did, in which he just wrote down a brief description of each chapter of the book, uh, maybe a bit more detailed than you had. And then he, he'd go on to the next chapter. And before he knew it, it was done. And he showed it to somebody and they said, this is fantastic. Let's publish it. And he said, oh, no, no, it's not a book yet. They said, yeah, it is. You've totally surprise. written a book. <laughs> Yeah, surprise, you didn't know that. And the way he got to it was he didn't know he was writing a book and that made it easier. 